Welcome to this video. Now we'll be looking at the fundamental theorem of trigonometric equations. Um, the fundamental theorem is just the relationship that exists between sine and cosine. Basically, you know the theorem as saying the sine of an angle is simply the cosine of its complement. The sine of an angle is simply the cosine of its complement. Two so angles are complementary if they add up to give 90. So basically, you would have noticed that the sine of 60 is simply the cosine of 30. And the sine of 30 is simply the cosine of 60. That's because 30 plus 60 adds up to give 180. So one should expect that the sine of 50 should be equal to the cosine of 40. Because 50 plus 40 adds up to give 180. But how did this fundamental theorem come about? That is what we want to look at, and then we'll see how it is going to solve problems, basically, in general. How did that come about? Let's take our triangle, right angle triangle again. A, B, C. You would agree with me that sine A has a value of A over C, cos A has a value of B over C, and A has a value of B over B. But another thing you also want to agree with me is that in terms of Sine B is actually B over C. Cos B is actually A over C. And um, tan B is actually B over A. So what are the fundamental relationships that we can derive from this? Let's see something that should occur by virtue of observation. You would notice here very well that sine A is actually cos B. You would notice very well that cos A is actually sine B. And you will notice that tan A is 1 over tan B. Observations. First observation we have is that sine A is A over C and cos B is also A over C. So sine A must be cos B. We also notice that cos A is B over C and that's the same thing as sine B, which is also B over C. These two things below have given us the fundamental theorem we're talking about. But let's just see how all this plays out. For any triangle, the sum of angles in a triangle is 180. That means angle A plus angle B plus angle C must be equal to 180. Now we know angle C is a right angle triangle. That's angle C on its own is 90. So it means that A plus B plus 90 must be equal to 180. It's obvious that if we make this object of the formula, B is going to be equal to what? 180 minus 90 minus B. It's evident that B is going to be 90 minus B. Essential. That means the two remaining angles in a right angle triangle always add up to 90. And they are always complements of each other. They are always complements of each other. We say two angles are complementary when they both add up to 90. If we were to go by that principle now, it is evident that sine A must be equal to cos B is what? 
9c minus b and then cos a must be equal to sine 90 minus b this is the fundamental theorem of trigonometric ratios and we utilize this theorem in trying to solve problems let's see an example where this theorem can help us find alpha if cos alpha plus 20 is equal to sine alpha we have to find alpha if cos alpha plus 20 is equal to sine alpha one thing is that if sine a or if cos a for instance is sine b it is simply because a plus b is 90 okay if cos a is equal to sine b it's simply because what a plus b add up to b is 90 remember b is simply 90 minus a by fundamental theorem by fundamental theorem alpha alpha must be equal to 90 minus alpha plus 20 that means alpha must be equal to 90 alpha minus 20 color like this alpha plus alpha must be 90 minus 20 2 alpha must be 70 divide both sides by 2 It is evident that alpha is 35 degrees. So that is to say, cos 35 plus 20 as cos 55 should be equal to sine 55. And that's how we solve using this fundamental theory. That's one basic information that we kept in the back of our mind. In the next video, we're going to see another different aspect of the moment more we use it. Thanks for